this experiment is all about asynchronous counter and you you can see that the circuit diagram is shown here first i have shown here 7490 the 7490 will uh, is a decade counter it will produce a binary output at the output side you can see the output side and you can see that 12 uh, 9 8 and 11 these are the bits output bits in the binaries and then we have to <coughs> display the binary into the seven segment display and that will be done by 7447 and the seven segment therefore 7490 will produce a binary output from the pin number 11 8 9 and 12 as you see and then this output will be will be going as a input to the 7447 and this 7447 will light up the proper leds in the seven segment display to display the number in the seven segment that is all about the concept in this now we are going for a first we are going to a mod 10 mod 10 to understand how we can mod 10 works first we have to understand that 7490 you can see that 7490 is this is the diagram i have shown here it has four flip flops it has four flip flops and two resets and we can reset the it will display if you it will display from 0 to 9 if the resets are deactivated but we can display from in between also by uh, by implementing the resets properly and therefore that we will discuss and now first because we are going for a mod 10 the resets are not required therefore you can see here here we have connected the reset 2 and 3 are connected to ground and, and reset 6 and 7 also connected to ground to make them deactivated it will then it will display 0 to 9 in the binary it will 0 to 9 it will display and to do that the clock number clock 1 has to be connected to the you can you can see here you can see here there are in the main 97490 there are two clocks are there clock 14 and you can see clock 1 and you can see the the QA that means pin number 12 that has to be connected to the clock 1 and the input 1 actually call input 1 and then it clock should be given from the pin number 14 then then only it will work as a mode 10 now and this is after that it will uh, each and every clock pulses the it will be incremented by 1 and it will go to up to 9 then it will become 0 and this digital output will be fed to the 7447 and it will glow the appropriate appropriate leds in the seven segment display and then the display will happen that is all about the concept about this this experiment the connections and you can see that the first is and the two and three two and two and three which is the reset pins in this case in the mod 10 it is not required therefore and this 2 and 3 are to be grounded therefore I, I can you can see 2 and 2 and 3 I have connected I have connected 2 and 3 and these two I am making it to ground and this I am making it to ground this is I am grounding these two and you can see here uh, that 6 and 7 also reset pins that also to be grounded that is also 6 and 7 you can look at that 6 6 and 7 and is also reset pin and this is to be grounded because in the mod 10 these uh, are not required there they should be deactivated now uh, 7490 is a is a uh, 14 pins therefore i already uh, you know that right hand side numbering will change and then to make it to make it a mod 10 the the clock 1 that means pin number pin number 1 pin number 1 
should be connected to the 12. That means Q A is connected to the 12, the output. And af after that, uh, you can see the pin number 14 and uh, uh, you can see that pin number 14 is the clock, clock pulse. Therefore, you can look at that pin number 14, this is the pin number 14 is to be given to the clock. Therefore, I am connecting to the clock here. And then you can see this, is, this will produce, this 7490 will produce in a uh, binary, binary outputs. Up to mod 10 it will produce and that will be fat. Therefore, 12 has to be connected to 7 and 9 has to be connected to 1 and 8 to be connected to the 2 and of you, you can look at the set is 12 is connected is to be connected to 7, 9 has to be connected to 1 and 8 has to be connected to 2 and that connections will, will proceed now. Already I told that 12 of 7490 has to be connected to the 7 of 7447 already I connected that you can look at that you can you can you can you can look at that 12 is been connected to a uh, connected to 7 you can look at that 12 has been connected to 7 in this way I connected 9 I connected to 1 I connected 8 I connected to 2 and 11 of 7490 I connected to 6 of 7447 and these four connections I have done and you can see 3, 4, 5, these 3 are the different tests. That means uh, L, LT stands for a lab, lamp test, RBI stands for a ripple blanking input and RBO is stands for ripple blanking output and these are some ca in, in cases uh, the LT it will light up the everything, uh, light up the all that we do not require anything in this nature. Therefore, we make this three pins deactivated. Therefore, already I connected. You can look at the three I connected to the VCC and three I connected to the VCC. You can look at that and three, four, five, all three I connected to the VCC. Already I connected like this. After that, after that, the right hand side of the right hand side of the seven four double four seven, it has to be input to the seven segment display. That 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 we connect now. Now, uh, this is the you can look at the, this is the seven segment display will placed in a slot and as a result and uh, this numbering of this it will become you can look at that this is the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 pin seven segment display is a 10 pin, uh, 10 pin display. Therefore, now we are connecting 13 you can look at the 13 because it is a 16 pin already I told 7447 is a 16 pin. Therefore, pin number, the numbering will be the remain the same. Therefore, 13 is connected to the 6 and uh, 13 is connected to the 7. Therefore, which is 7? This you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, uh, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, I am connecting, connecting to this, this, this pin. Uh, uh, that, is, that is the different because it is a very big IC slot. Therefore, we have to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is our pin numbers. Now you are coming to that 12, 12, 12 uh, the pin number 12, pin number 12 uh, you can see the pin number 12 I am connecting the pin number 12 it has to be connected to the 6 therefore you connect it to the 6 and in this way we will complete the connections and will will uh, will complete the uh, will complete the remaining connections. We completed the connections that means 13, 13 of the 74 Double four seven. I connected to the seven, uh, which is the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Already I showed you, and and then eleven is connected to four. Uh, you can see the eleven is connected to the four, and in this way, this these connections between seven double four seven and the the seven segment display is completed. But one thing is to be uh, to be noted here that pin number three or pin number eight. Pin number three, or in in a, in my in our case, we have taken pin number three, is connected to one K. Therefore, you can look at that one K resistance been connected between two terminals, and one input is given from three input is given to the one end of the uh, resistance. The other end of the resistance is connected to VCC. Is connected to the five volt VCC as 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 shown in the diagram. 
After that, all the connections are over, we, we have to see the output. Now you can see, now I switch on that. After that, you can see that in the, here, the, here, it is, here we'll, we'll see the, here. And you can see, now it is zero, displaying zero here. I'll, I'll put a clock pulse, and you can see it has become one. Another clock pulse, it has become two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, eight, nine, and then it will become zero because it is a mod 10. And as it is like this only. Therefore, it is, it is our mod 10. This is all about mod 10 of asynchronous counter. 